Okay, hi everyone, this is Fred here. Welcome to this channel. So today we are going to make a, a tube silage and I'll be showing you everything. So here I have uh, I have chopped some maize, as you can see here. And uh, this is maize silage that we are going to create. And here we have items that we are going to use. So we have a polythene paper, this is a polythene tube. And we have a roll for a seed for polythene. And uh, I bought it yesterday. You can buy it in a... Uh, here is hardware. Then we have uh, microbes, as you can see, and we have uh, molasses, and we have water. So the thing is here, I'm going to show you detailed process of making this. And to start with, I'm going to use to start mixing, uh, mixing the microbes with water and molasses. So here is the ratio. If you are using maize, you should. Uh, uh, you, you, the, the ratio should be one is to one. One part of molasses, and when I say one part, I can say one liter or like this one is two liters jug that I'm going to use. If you are using, uh, if you are maize, using maize silage, you have to use one part of uh, molasses and uh, three part of water. But if you are using nipple grass silage, you are going to use one ratio is one is to one. Why is that? Because uh, maize contains sugar that we need for for fermentation and uh, all that so the first thing that we need i'm going to mix my microbes as you can see here this is microbes so that is one part i put it in a this is 80 liters but we don't need so much microbes we just need three parts only so that we can make uh, our silage to be good so those is two and i just need three so we don't need so much uh, microbes let me just put three like that as you can see now i'm going to add uh, molasses And whenever you are going molasses, make sure it is uh, very thick. Yeah. So that is one part. That is two.
So after you have added, you have to mix thoroughly. You can use a hard, you can use your stick, you can use stick. So for me, I'm going to use a hard. Make sure your hands are um, clean. So that, so that we don't make, want to make these uh, silage to be dirty. And ensure that there is no foreign materials that are inside, that you put on the, on the silage. So there is this thing that farmers have been doing. They are using what we call urea for making silage. If you are not uh, an expert in that, don't, do, don't use urea. It can be part of to your cows and you don't want to incur losses so you have to be very keen when you are using uh, urea but for me I'm not going to use urea I'm going to use just uh, molasses and uh, uh, microbes then I have to mix that already so that you they can mix well yeah after I've done this I'm going to to spray the mixture that is a mixture of silage microbes and water and put it into to mix it with the the chopped maize and then i'm going to you to put uh i'm going to put it on a on a tube so watch around as we do this You can test it so that you can uh, know if it has mixed thoroughly or not. So the end product, uh, the end product is like this. This duck bean is what we are going to use. That. Then uh, I can use even this one. Or if you have a watering can, you you come and spray just like that, and then you mix thoroughly. Yeah. We don't want to put so much water. We just need. A small portion of water that's why we have a shovel here this shovel is going to assist us uh, in mixing these then I have strings as you can see here these are going to tie at the top and the bottom and how do we tie it so these let me show you this is our quality tube that we are going to use it might be big uh, but Here's the, the process that we this is how we do it. To ensure that there is no air that enters in, you start like this. Eh? Yeah. You fold it like this. Yeah. You fold it well so that there is no air that is going to come up. So you fold it well. So after you have folded it like that, you tie it completely. These are the strings that we use uh, for, for bedding here. So they are very strong. So that's why I prefer them. After you have done that, you have to tie it well. So that you can ensure that there is no air that will get in after you have inserted your your silage. You have to tie a good knot. Once you have done that, it ensures that there is no air that will uh, come in by any chance. So I use a panga here and then I cut uh, this. So once you have done that, you have uh, to. I want it to go inside. So 
This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it. going to have an end product like this and this is where we are going to put our uh, our silage then you come and play with some hair like in this case we are going to place it here because we want it to be here we don't want to keep it in the uh in the sun because this is just a paper this is not a silage paper this is just a tube and it may crack or uh be uh by being eaten by rodent, but we don't need that. So after we have the mixed our silage well, after we have mixed uh, our silage here, uh, we mix it with the, 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 the solution that we made, the mixture of this, uh, we spray it. I, I don't like uh, putting morasses inside there, the, tu the, the tube. So the best thing that you do that, and then you have to mix it well here. You have to mix it well. Once you mix it all, you keep on adding, you keep on adding, yeah, and once you are done with that, you, you just uh, take it to, uh, to, the, to the pit like I am going to show you. So, uh, watch along as we, we continue, yeah, okay. So, once you, you have prepared your, your, your tube, this is what is happening inside here. Then, I'm going in and I have to compress this. And the first thing you have to, to, to do is ensure that all out, that uh, your, your tube is not, uh, is uh, all sides that, that they, they match so that they, it won't bend, yeah? So you have to make sure you compress, you remove all the oxygen, air in it, you keep on compressing. After you have compressed, you keep on adding more, you keep on adding more, yeah? So you don't have to make sure that, you have to make sure that there is no air left, yeah? So you keep on adding, you keep on adding, you keep on adding and compressing, compressing. So why are we compressing? We want to remove as much air as possible, yeah? And this is doable. You can do it. So why are we preserving silage? It's uh, currently we have so much harvest. Yeah, I already created another other silage here, and I showed you how to create. This is like a uh, uh, silage what? A silo that uh, we created there. So this is for for small scale farmer. So you can use this for a small scale farmer. You can buy this. Yeah, a meter goes for two hundred. Yeah. So, but uh, you can buy it. As a small as a starter you can start using this other than going for uh much complicated you just go for silage tube and you do that so this is how we do it and we will continue doing it and uh, uh today we are target we have two of us we are target to make like uh three or four or six uh silage bags but we have to go to be very careful and to do a great job so keep on watching guys and uh, thank you for your time for keeping uh, watching this uh, channel. So let's continue doing that and I'll show you the end result.
So guys, after chopping, I'll cut the spider. Oh, 
every time you add, you have to add uh, the mixture of narratives and microbes.
So guys, after completing, this is what you have here. You have to put a stone for to so that it can have the pressure. Yeah. So we have already made like four bags. We are remaining with three, but uh, that is it, guys. That's how you do it, and that's how we do it. So I hope you have learned something uh, practically.
I've done it. And uh, so each each bag here takes like uh, 600 to 800 kgs. Yeah. So you have to be prepared for drought season and you have to take advantages of the harvest that we are having. So may you have a wonderful time and uh, looking forward to upload more videos. So keep subscribing, keep commenting, keep liking the videos and I hope we'll go far as farmers. So have a great day.